The first thing that jumps to your mind when you think of fireworks is all the amazing colors. The color is governed by which metal salt is introduced into the firework. Upon heating these metal salts, you see an excitation from what we call the ground state of the metal to an excited state. And when that electron in the excited state falls back down to the ground state, there's a release in energy. And the difference in the energy level will give you a different color. And so each individual metal salt will have a different color. So for example, if you have a sodium salt, you're gonna have yellow fireworks. Where if you have a strontium salt, you'll have beautiful red fireworks. If you have copper salts, you'll have blue fireworks. And if you have barium chloride or another chloride salt, you have green fireworks. Well, what causes them to explode anyways? At the bottom of the firework is black powder like they used in China originally. And that's not gonna be a very strong explosion, but it's gonna be enough to shoot them into the sky. And as they're being fired into the sky, there's a fuse that's lit. And that's a ticking bomb as the firework is ascending into the sky. And that's slowly working its way to the main compartment. And inside the main compartment, you have an oxidizing agent and you have a reducing agent. And the oxidizing agent is typically something like a chlorate or a perchlorate salt. And what's gonna happen is when the fuse gets into that main compartment, the oxidizing agent's gonna release oxygen. And that oxygen is what's gonna react with the reducing agent, in this case, sulfur or carbon, to produce either CO2, carbon dioxide, or SO2, sulfur dioxide. And these are very stable products. So when the oxygen reacts with the reducing agent, it's gonna release a lot of heat. And that rapid release of heat is what we refer to scientifically as a boom. 